Hello, welcome to my presentation about procedural art. I'm gonna make you look at this photo for like, I don't know, 5 to 10 seconds. Because this is my reference photo and I've basically based my whole scene on this little scene we have here. Which you can see it's Half-Life 2, a CD 17 in the center. And you can see the different buildings we have here, which are particularly close to each other and they have kind of the same materials and the same textures but they're just irritated a bit because uh, iterated i'm sorry because you can see the different bricks here you have bricks here too but they're just different color you have a little density of bricks here too and you have concrete concrete and it's basically this as of textures and materials which i've already said in the research document i made you look on in this picture for like a minute now but i'm sorry about it so then I'm gonna come to the research document just to scroll a bunch where I've explained here yeah, you can see here the screenshot this is basically my whole reference um, I've explained the different materials I'm gonna need also roof material also here I said why I actually done some stuff you can read it more truly afterwards so then I'm going in the scene uh, I'm just gonna go like this and as you can see I'm just in a corner here now and if I go to the scene I don't know what's lagging like this it's a small scene this is the scene I have you have these different lamps and different things to make the whole mood pop up as you can see this is the monument in the middle this is the uh, citadel it's called in the actual game I put a little 17 here because I couldn't really uh, copy the whole thing because it will take me much much time and as you can see we have different buildings here which are basically the same uh, the same different texture you have the roofs and all of these textures they are mine although um, this texture is not mine this is not mine I've said it in the document you can read it afterwards so then you can ask do we have um, exposed parameters yes I do and if I go here and, and my materials on, you can see I have different materials too. So this is this kind of brick and this is the black brick. And as you can see I can play with opacity on it, make it darker, make it lighter, uh, work with branches, I can make it really simple, I can give it some more character, I can give it randomized styles too. Also, I can change the Y amount. I don't want to put the X because it gets too messy if I continue doing it. This gives me more variety too. And this is only 1K texture too. And I can do the same here with this too. It's basically the same material, just with a different grayscale. So it's the same exact exposed parameters. Um, what else? I can show you the concrete here, uh, which is this one. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, I have nothing for the concrete. Yeah, I just realized that because it's just concrete. I don't know what else I could change on it. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. Um, you can go here on the roof. Some of the tiling is not the best around it, but um, if I go here, I have the X amount. I have the Y amount. I have the intensity. You can see some cracks being open. Um... Okay, I don't know what this is not doing anything. Sure, we have the cracks here too. We have a more clean elbow roof, if not the same. And this, I made this roof be more like a steel roof, I would say. Uh, you can see it has the same parameters too. Basically the same whole exact concept. You can even remove these ones too. Um, other thing I have... So I'm gonna go come here because yeah you, you see also the windows they're not the best windows of course and also here I didn't work on them much because it's just an outside building but if I go here and work around with the, with the windows you can see I have changing frames etc I have the opacity too I have more opacity thingies because I can make them look like this which is really boring in my opinion but I wouldn't use it much I can make them look very old too. 
And the same goes for these ones. These are just black ones. And I don't know why this is screwed over. Um, the wood too. I have two types of wood. I don't know which one this is. It's not this one. Um, so basically I can change the cracks here too. I can change the tiles. Uh, as you can see things are changing up. Uh, the height depth is basically... Um, if you can see the little edges here. Oh. Yeah, just a little subtle change. Uh, also the bevel, as you can see if I put it like on one, you can see all these ones popping up. You can also work with the gaps if you don't want them. If you want them, but then you want them to be bigger. You have this too. So these are basically like exposed parameters I have. As you can see, I have different buildings, but most of them I've just copied over and maybe kind of redid. I also did this little asset thingy the railings. This is my own asset package of the cars and lamps and other things which were made last project. Also, uh, the only asset in the whole scene which is not mine <laughs> are these trees. Which textures of my teeth because even it's a little sort of texture too. I just didn't want to spend much time on creating the trees too because it would be a lot of time trying to get organic shapes because when I get into it, I really wanted to seem good. So then I guess I have nothing much more to show you other than this little render scene. So uh, thank you for watching this uh, and I hope this explains a lot about my project uh, and yeah, thank you.